baby girl, just keep it real. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Geeked Up. My name is Craig, and I want to say thank you for coming over. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it, because I really just feel like I can just black out right now. You know, I feel like I can go full Rico on Rotten Tomatoes. You know, Rico from Paid in Full, and if you know, you know. So, I got done seeing Black Adam again for the second time. And, you know, the critics tried to say that this movie was bad and it was terrible. Um, especially Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes gave this a 41%. Uh, but it had an audience score of 89%. And uh, I said, you know what, let me go back and uh, peep it out again. So when I had checked out this Black Adam movie again, I liked it even better than the second time. So, you know, shout out to Ron Tomatoes for sounding like pure clowns, man. Congratulations, you played yourself. So this movie had Dwayne Johnson as Black Adam, uh, Algis Hodge as Hawkman, Noah Centineo as Adam Smasher, Quintessa Swindle as Cyclone, and Marlon Kazari as Sabak. You know, those are the actors. Uh, those guys did a very good job in, uh, in working with each other. Oh, I forgot to say, Pierce Brosnan is Dr. Fate. Okay, also, uh, you know, you can see the reviews, what they said online. But one that really stuck out to me was they said that it was a fascinating mess. And they also said that this movie was cliche. And we're going to get back to that. Now, to me, this movie brought back a lot of substance that the DCEU need, you know, the, the DC Extended Universe, you know, for the movies. This movie brought such a different dynamic to what we wanted to see because for the longest DC has been putting out trash movies i.e. Wonder Woman 2 uh, Birds of Prey and just other terrible mess you see what I'm saying and so this movie really delivered and why I was talking about Rotten Tomatoes is because a lot of people don't know that depending on the score that Rotten Tomatoes give a film, this can really make or break the film because people not even going to waste their time to go see it. You know, somebody will be like, oh, let's go check out uh, such and such. Like, let's go check out Black Adam. Then somebody be like, no, nah, man, I heard that film wasn't that good. You know, I don't want to waste my, you know, waste my money on it. Those films haven't been good anyway. But, you know, it's, 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 it's all about perspective. And what we got to hold on, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on. I like this right here. Ooh, that's some good stuff. This is a Zorro. The brand is Zara, but it's called Most Wanted. This stuff is definitely a, 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 a fall weather scent. This is this this that pressure right here. This is good, you know. So anyway, back to what I was saying. This right here, this movie really did a very good job in bringing the action. It had good plot, and it didn't seem boring at all. I loved everything about it. The special effects were uh, were excellent. You know, I, I've seen a little kinks in them, but that's okay. You know, we, we, we get what we can get. Um, and you know, not every movie is perfect. And the one thing that I can say that I did not like about the movie was a part in the movie where, you know, he gave up his power. I mean, which made no sense. That was kind of whack to me. I mean, he kind of like, uh, I guess, you know, you'll see it. You'll see it. I don't, I don't feel like doing all that sport. Well, yeah, I'm going to just tell you. He gave up uh, the power because when he saved the little boy, he lost his temper. And, like, he powered up so much that he injured the boy. And so he felt guilty. 
And so he didn't want to hurt nobody else, so that's why he relinquished his power. I thought that part was whack though. You know, you could have you could have cut that out. Other than that, the movie was real good. People that stood out in that movie, the characters I would say was probably uh Dr. Fate. How they portrayed Dr. Fate was excellent. Now, a lot of people don't know that Dr. Fate is a very powerful magician, or let me say magic user. In a comic book, he is a lord of order. You see what I'm saying? He's one of the lords of order. He wears the helmet of Naboo, and it's an enchanted helmet, so, you know, we can, uh, and so, he's basically just a very powerful magic user. He's very, you know, very, very good character. I like how they, you know, how they brought him up in this movie. I, I like how, you know, from when, when I mean brought him up from the comic books to on the big screen. That was good. His costume was excellent. Um, you know, everybody was pretty much cool. I really don't have too much bad to say about this movie. And I can honestly say that this movie is up here, uh, I say with, uh, uh, um, was it Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Man of Steel, and now you got Black Adam to add to that. Those so far are probably the best movies that we have at a time. I mean, uh, at this at this time for the DC. And what the critics were saying about how it was cliche was, Basically, uh, well, I just read, I'll, I'll read the, the meaning. And cliche means a phrase or opinion that is overused and betrays the lack of original thought. I'll repeat that. A phrase or opinion that is overused and betrays a lack of original thought. And you know what? But that's okay because... It's a formula for a superhero movie. Every movie has a formula. Action movie has formulas. Uh, uh, romantic movies have formulas. Scary movies have, have formulas. You know, and they will consider those cliche. Basically, you're gonna know what's gonna happen. And, and see, this is the recipe for success, really. Because if they wanted to go off and do something else, then this movie could have just tanked and bombed and did even worse. So, like I said, this movie was good. It gave the DC fans what they wanted to see. This is what we've been waiting on from a good movie. And like I said, Rock has put, you know, like I said he, in uh, previous videos, he announced his video 15 years ago. I mean, 15 years ago, he really, you know, didn't nobody think he was going to really make this movie, but now here we have it, and like I said, he showed up, and he showed out, and he did his thing. I love how his costume looked, by the way. Um, you know, and if this movie does well, then we can expect other good DC movies to happen after this, you know, it will only get better. You can almost say that this was the, the relaunch or the restart of the DC EU. They might make the Flash movie that, but you know, enough about that on another on another time. So, like I said, the, the critics are, are pure clowns, and I think this movie is projected to make around. 60 to 70 million is opening weekend, which is actually uh, pretty good. You know, we can only uh, we can only see, only time will tell. I think this movie is going to perform very well. You know, give us what we want, give us what we need, and you know, hopefully the the future movies will come just as just as just as good. So you know. Um, let me know what are your thoughts if you've seen the movie. Tell me what you liked about it. Tell me what you disliked about it. I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, let me know your opinions on it. You know, I thought it was a good movie. You know, two thumbs up for me. 
you know, what, tell me what you what you think. Did it did it lack substance? Did it lack you know, was it not compelling enough? I thought it was compelling. I thought it was. I thought it was very compelling. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 the, the part when they they, they killed off Doctor Fate, Doctor Fate, excuse me, when they killed Doctor Fate, I kind of thought that was bogus. You know, y'all don't have to do my boy like that. Shout out to Pierce Brosnan. You know. He did a, a very good job. I really hope that uh, that character gets his own solo movie. They might do a JSA movie, but I, I like how they, inter they, they introduced the JSA. And I noticed that they only started with four characters instead of like a whole team of like five or six. They only did really four characters, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna see how this goes. And you know, like I said, just you know, let me know what y'all think. Um, and like always, like and subscribe. All right, then.